Welcome to my channel. That's like a YouTube thing people do, right? They're just like, welcome back to my channel. Subscribe and like, you know, like I'm not used to it. I'm a TikTok person. Anywho, let's get down to business. I'm going to talk to you about pregnancy after loss. Or in other words, trying to conceive after loss. So I have been through eight pregnancy losses, all conceived naturally, by the way, and I recently did IVF in hopes that it can help me maintain pregnancy along with an extensive protocol my reproductive endocrinologist and maternal fetal doctor pulled together. Da -da -da. That's a mouthful. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's my story in a nutshell. You can watch my other videos about um, my story more in detail. So something I want to touch base on is the grieving process prior to even deciding to get pregnant again after having a loss or losses like me. Grief can come in many different shapes and forms like anger, not being able to concentrate, loneliness, um, racing thoughts, all the above. And the most important, guilty. Yes, a lot of women or couples in general, after a loss, you feel guilt, like it was your fault. Before I go on with this whole grief process thing after a loss, a miscarriage is out of your control. So please, it is not your fault. Moving on, touching base on what I just said, you know, acceptance that this was not your fault and that this happened and that your emotions are valid is the next step. Yes, acceptance. Allow yourself to grieve, meaning get ugly and cry. Now, how has that helped me? I'll tell you. After having eight pregnancy losses consecutively throughout seven years, of course, not back to back to back, there's definitely gaps where I took breaks. Um, I developed post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. I saw out a therapist or psychologist that specialized with infertility, anxiety, and depression, which I had all the above, so that was great. And she pointed something out. I told her that most nights I cry myself to sleep. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm just having all these racing thoughts about my losses, about the horrible trauma I went through in the ERs, or at home in a miscarriage or with my procedures, etc. And my therapist puts her pen down and looks at me and says, you have not properly grieved. And that is not uncommon for women going through infertility and pregnancy losses. She was right. She was very, very right. So I was doing was bottling up my emotions by keeping myself busy, thinking keeping myself busy will keep me from crying all day at home. But crying home all day for a little bit is okay. Emphasis on the little bit. I'm not saying get depressed and cry your eyes out for an entire year. I'm saying give yourself time to collect your thoughts and process these very valid emotions. Now, not only that, it's important to talk about your feelings. And I'm not saying here on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. I'm No, not publicly. I'm saying talk to your partner, your friends, your parents, or support groups. Here are some support groups I recommend. I have used them myself and it's been super helpful. Support groups are not for everyone. Some like the one-on-one -on -one therapy. I've also done the one-on-one -on -one therapy. So whatever works for you, just don't bottle it up. It's so toxic. I had no idea how much awfulness I just bottled up and stuffed away thinking it wasn't gonna come back and haunt me. No, it definitely did. Now let's move on to pregnancy after loss. Scary. I'm sure you're anxious. I am. I'm preparing for a ninth pregnancy after all these losses. So yes, very human of you to feel that and that's 1000% okay. Once you feel ready here and here, then you can think about pregnancy. Pregnancy is hard, so pushing yourself into skipping the grieving process and going through a pregnancy 
that those are two difficult journeys right there be very very careful with that and here is a fact from the mayo clinic that after a miscarriage you possibly will ovulate after two weeks so they said to not have intercourse for two weeks but my doctors have told me two months just to give my body some time to heal and you know my brain my mental health so i'm recovering as well and a great idea that i'm definitely putting out there is to talk to your healthcare provider prior to starting another pregnancy check out their thoughts maybe there's some testing they recommend before moving forward as for the anxiety part that's pretty hard to get rid of but there are things i do to cope with my anxiety uh, totally recommending that right there. I am also a mental health care provider. So this is what I recommend for my patients. Uh, I actually work with a lot of military patients along with autism. And so, oh yes. Um, talk to your healthcare provider, talk to your therapist, whatever you need to do to plan and prepare for your next pregnancy. That's what I did. You don't have to do what I did. There are different ways to grieving, coping, and preparing for a next pregnancy, but this is what worked for me. I'm not saying all this stuff cured my mental sanity. No, but I am coping a lot better. I'm going to be anxious about my babies till the day I die. So, you know, I am telling you to take care of yourself and know that you're not alone. Your feelings are so valid. I know my family, they're not the best. Like I love them to death, but they're not the best of the situation because they don't understand. Like I know in previous pregnancies, I have mentioned to my family or friends like, oh my gosh, I feel like something's wrong. Like contraction, pain, pushing. And everyone told me I was being negative when I was actually going through a pregnancy loss. Like. Guys, hello, hear me out. I'm not being negative, something's happening. But that's why I told you about these support groups, seeing a therapist one-on-one, -on -one. talk to people who do understand you. And if they don't understand you, people who know how to empathize with you. We're so special and so loved, mama. Let me tell you that. I'm cheering you on. I might not know you personally, but I hope you have your rainbow baby. This is a tough journey and just follow my awkwardness if you'd like. Uh -huh. I hope this was helpful. I'm hoping that women that are currently pregnant or preparing to get pregnant again after a loss feel like they're heard and that these resources can help them. I'm sending you all the big awkward hugs I can. Wow, these shorts are really short. Anyways, catch me on TikTok insta here are my accounts follow subscribe whatever the youtube blah, 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 whatever the youtubers usually say at the end that so peace out